The vision concepts Visualize and represent the vision as equal sharing, repeated subtraction, equal jumps in the line, and using formation of equal groups of objects. Create and write a related vision for each type of situation. Equal sharing, repeated subtraction, equal jumps on the number line, and formation of equal groups of objects. I have 10 pencils and I want to put an equal number of pencils to these two pencil holders. How many pencils should I put in each holder? How many pencils do you think should each pencil holder have? Will there be an equal number of pencils in each pencil holder? Think and understand. We make others happy when we give them equal share of what we have. Let us take a look at the problem from the previous page. There are 10 pencils and 2 pencil holders. There are 5 in each group. We will write it as 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. We will read it as 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. We use the symbol to mean to divide. 10. Number of pencils together. 2. Number of groups. And 5. Number in each group. So 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. We can also solve division problems through repeated subtraction. We subtract or we cross out the number of objects in the group until there is nothing left. Let us use the same problem we had on the previous illustration. Imagine there are 10 circles. Let us cross out two circles at a time until there is nothing left. How many times did we cross out the circles until there is nothing left? Five times. So, ten divided by two is equal to five. We can add this way. We subtracted two. From 10, 
5 times in order to get 0. Division is also like jumping in the number line backwards until you get to the zero. Let us jump every two numbers backwards until we reach zero. Five jumps backward of two will get you to zero. Read and answer each question. Then, write a related division sentence for each item. How many strawberries are there all together? There are eight strawberries. Into how many groups are they divided? Very good, it's four. How many are in each group? Two. So eight divided by four is equal to two. Circle the number sentence that goes with the picture. That's right. 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. Each item. Count the total number of oranges. If you put the same number of oranges in each of the four baskets, how many oranges will there be in each basket? Write a division sentence to answer the question. Count the total number of eggs. If you put the same number of eggs in each of the five entry, how many eggs will there be in each entry? Write a division sentence to answer the question. Fifteen divided by five is equal to three. Therefore, there are three eggs in each egg tray. Remember, division is separating a big group into smaller equal groups. Division is also finding how many equal groups are there in a bigger group. The dividend represents the bigger group that will be separated. The divisor represents the number of equal groups in a bigger group. The quotient is the answer in division. Also tells the number in each group. We use the method of grouping, repeated subtraction, or number line to solve division problems.
Thank you for listening. You may now proceed to your next task. Goodbye.